In this video, we're going to look at making a program for either a plasma, laser, or water jet. Uh, for this, we're just going to say draw up some 8 inch just round circles and say that we have a whole sheet of them to cut. So we'll come up here to arc coordinates and we're going to move the center over. Let's say if this is 8 inches, we'll move it over 4 inches, up 4 inches in X and Y, and then we'll give it a 4 inch radius, which will give us an 8 inch circle. Start angle is zero, end angle of a 360. We'll click OK, and then click on our view all. Okay, so there's the first part to be cut. And now let's say we have as many will fit out of a 96 inch sheet. So we'll come here, utilities, translate. We'll select this circle, then right click OK. And we'll go delta. So we're going to move this over every eight and a quarter inches. So we'll leave a quarter inch between each one and we're going to make some copies. So we'll say 96 divided by 8 and a quarter gives us 12. So we'll go ahead and choose OK. Now, since I already had one there, I had gotten 12 copies. Rather than 12 in total, we'll go ahead and delete one of those. So let's cancel. We'll right click, go to our selection mode pick that last circle and then delete. Now let's say that we make a few more copies. So we'll come over here, utilities, translate. We're going to select all of these. Right click OK. And let's use the drag function with one copy. And we'll just drag these over so that they fit. We continue doing this to make some more copies. then cancel and let's right click select and we'll get rid of this last one over here okay so we have a few shapes to cut out once we're ready to cut out our shapes or our sheet as we've laid it out we'll come over here to our cam tree the first thing to do is set the machine type for either a laser water jet or plasma to do that we click the plus symbol next to cam part right click milling tools and then go to current settings now, you'll want to set up a machine make and model for your machine that you're going to be using. If you haven't done this or if you're not, not sure how, there is a video that covers creating a machine make and model. And this is where you set the type of machine. Let's say that we set this for plasma. We'll click OK. Now, what happens when we come here and right click milling stock? you'll see that the only thing active is mill 2 axis which is for a plasma laser or water jet that'll be your only cutting type we'll be profiling we'll go ahead and choose next we'll select the geometry to cut which are these shapes and right click and left click OK and then I get a preview of what's going to be cut we'll choose next now in here we get our rapid plane top part settings now these will only matter if you have a z-axis on your machine. If your machine does not have, say, like a torch height control or something like that, you don't have to worry about filling out the rapid movements. Just click next and ignore them. Work offset if the machine is equipped with work offsets. Next. And then you'll see it, since we changed this to a plasma machine, it's set up with a plasma tool. The same will be true for a water jet or laser, you'll get the variables for that type of machine. In here you could also add these tools to your tool library, which you can watch the setting up your tools video to see that. Now we have a diameter. Let's say that this is a 130 second. And also a tool label, just a description of tool. We'll change this as well. And then the options that are available for your machine, whether cutters on or off, if gas is an option, if it's on or off, and if the shutter can be opened and closed. Now, if your machine doesn't have these settings, just ignore them on the screen. Your post processor is what will handle those settings in the background. You have your feed rates, dwell times, frequencies, and power settings. And if you don't have frequency and power settings on your machine, this is something that you just leave set at zero here. Torch height control if it's available and you can see that you have an arc slowdown setting if you want to slow down on corners or 
Then we'll go ahead and click Next. Then we get our system compensation or machine compensation. If we're going to allow the system or the machine to compensate the tool. Your side allowance, if any, if you're going to come in for two cuts, that's probably not going to be common on a plasma machine. Entry, you don't have to worry about. And corner types, you do get some options for the corner types. If it's going to G1 past the corners, or do a G2, G3 where there's sharp corners. As well as you can set it up to loop, in or out, and you could also set up your leads. We just skip ahead. We'll go ahead and click on finish. Right click profile, compute the toolpath. And we can see there's our toolpath for cutting out these parts. It's set up for the plasma. We now right click milling tools and go to post and get our code for that plasma machine. Uh, the steps are the same for the water jet and also for the laser machines. So laser, water jet, or plasma. The only thing that changes in here are the type of machine and also what you see in the tooling dialog will affect the output. If we come in here milling tools, we can right click, go to tools, and here we can see our plasma tool where we can add our database of plasma tools.